Oh my god. He needs to see this because Frankie would die. Hey everyone, I'm Larry Saperstein from High School Musical, The Musical, The Series, and I'm hanging out with Awesomeness TV. Hey everyone, I'm Kelsey McDonald, and today I have with me a very special guest who has been gracing the stage since he was three years old and has been acting ever since he put his tap dancing shoes on at the age of six. You know him from his breakout role as Big Red in Disney Plus's High School Musical, The Musical, The Series. Welcome, Larry Saperstein. Hi, Larry. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Of course, how are you doing? doing? I'm great, you know, just like hanging out. I'm in California, kind of just enjoying the summer. It's going well. I think we were talking about it right before we started, but I'm obsessed with your background of your guitar and your piano. Oh, thanks. Uh, this it's is like a, my new apartment. So I'm like, I've been setting it all up and seeing what works. I think we found something that really looks cool. So <laughs> like, yeah. we're about to play Celebrity Face Off. So basically we matched some of your fellow cast members' faces onto other cast members' bodies. So you have to try okay. to guess who the pictures are of, okay. of our okay. own. <laughs> this is fun. Okay. Oh, I can do this. Yes. This is easy. Okay. Julia Lester's face on Joshua Bassett's head and body. Oh my God. That is... <laughs> okay, it's Frankie Rodriguez's face on Dara Renee's body. That's amazing. She needs to see this because Frankie would die. Oh my god. Okay, it's Joe Serafini's face on Matt Cornette's body. And last but not least... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so Fia Wiley's face on Olivia Rodrigo's body. Iconic. So, I mean, like I said before, you've been acting for a very long time. Can you give our audience a little background on yourself and how did you get involved in High School Musical, the musical, the series? So I grew up uh, right outside of New York City and I spent most of my life like going back and forth into New York for tap classes and other dance classes, vocal lessons and stuff like that. Yeah, I just like have started kind of auditioning for theater and, and Broadway shows like ever since I was maybe like 11 years old. I got this amazing audition for, for a show called High School Musical, The Musical at the time. There was no series at first, it was just High School Musical, The Musical. And it was like everything that I have always wanted to do. And so I was like, I have to get this. Like I have to do whatever I can to get this. So I had like my very first audition and then I went back to New York, I had a call back. And a few days later, they flew me out to LA to read with Josh, uh, who plays Ricky and see like what our chemistry would be like as best friends. A few days later, uh, I, they told me that I got the role and then I was um, on my way to Salt Lake City to start filming season one and the rest is kind of history. <laughs> What attracted you to the role of Big Red or just like even auditioning then for High School Musical, the musical, the series in general? You know, first of all, I related to Big Red so much because I was actually going to school at the time for design for theater. And in the first season, Big Red joins the crew. So I thought that that would be just like such a cool thing that I could be playing that on screen. You know, once I got the role, they came to me and they were like, we know you're a tap dancer and we want to include this in the role so that we can like highlight some of your talents and I thought that that was like even cooler that I got to like bring some of myself into this character and like help to create him. That's something that the show does so well is like in the show it comes across that we are being authentic and true to ourselves and I think that's what makes the show so fun to watch is that you're seeing these people be like so unapologetically themselves and I think that's why people relate to it. Speaking of the show we love seeing your character grow. What has it been like? like seeing Big Red grow and evolve throughout the seasons. It's been so cool to kind of go on this journey with a character. I've never done that before. So I've seen him go from like just a kid who only had one friend to having this like group of friends and a girlfriend and just really going outside of his comfort zone and, and learning new things. And he's grown so much in season two. So I'm so excited for, you know, for where he's gonna go. I'm excited too. I know I'm probably not gonna get any spoilers out of you, but <laughs> what has been one of your favorite memories while filming? When we were filming season two, it was pushed to the fall. So we got to spend like all the fall holidays together, which are like the best holidays. So like we did a huge Halloween party that was like, not huge, it was just us. But we like all did a group Wizard of Oz theme costume. We used to go on like group hikes together. We've just done so many outdoor kind of fun activities together. Who has been one of your favorite people to work with on the show and what have you learned from each other? My favorite uh, person that I learned from every single 
day in the series regular cast is Kate Rinders. Like, I saw her on Broadway years before I got High School Musical. And now she's like almost like a second mom. Like, I learned so much from her every time we're in a scene together or just on set or every time I get to watch her. I just like learn so much from her. And then as far as our new and exciting guest cast, they're all so amazing. Like, Olivia Rose Keegan is fantastic. And having Andrew Garth Feldman there, who is a good friend of mine from home and from where I grew up was also just so exciting because I got to show him like our environment and our like East High Wildcats world and he was a fan of season one so then to experience all of that was like really cool as a friend to kind of like help him through that. Now if you could be any other character on the show who would it be and why? I, I think I would love to play Gina. Like, Gina is so iconic, right? Like, all because of Sophie Wiley, because she's such an amazing dancer. She has these amazing dance numbers. She's such a great actress. She, like, has these scenes that will just, like, make you cry, and then she'll, like, make you laugh right after that. It, it's just, like, so many emotions and so many amazing things. I love where her character has been going in season two. Yeah, so I, I just love Gina so much. I love Gina as well. <laughs> now, you are a huge mental health advocate. What advice do you have for fans and the audience going through, you know, a tough time? During Pride Month, I think it's so important to, you know, remember to be true to yourself and things really do get easier and better once we open up and once we start to accept who we are and, and what we're going through and knowing that that's okay and knowing that that's normal. And so I think especially during times when we're like really opening up the conversation to a better society and, and better like our communities, I think it's really important to use my platform to kind of talk about that. Definitely. Oh, I love that. <laughs> now. What can we expect from you next? What are you working on? And can you do any spoilers for us for season two? <laughs> well, you know, we're we're over halfway uh, with season two now. So there's some exciting stuff coming up. Uh, episode nine is a really good one that I love. Uh, so that that's a really fun one. It's totally different than anything else we've done before. It's like a totally new kind of concept for an episode. So it'd be really cool. And yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of working on some of my own stuff. I've posted some tasks dance videos and I'm trying to do some more of that myself and you know my own some of my own writing and songwriting and screenwriting and yeah and I can't wait for everybody to, to see that stuff. I'm so excited for you this is gonna be amazing. What about um season three anything? Can you say anything? We actually don't know about season three yet. I think it's gonna happen. I hope it's gonna happen. Um, we just have not gotten the official call about it yet so my hopes are high i think it'll be awesome thank you so much for joining me today larry do you want to say anything else to your audience to your fans you can follow me at larry saperstein on instagram twitter and tiktok love it and make sure to watch high school musical the musical the series season two on disney plus and hopefully season three soon <laughs> thank you all so much for watching make sure to check out more from larry on all of his socials which will be linked down below make sure to subscribe to the awesomeness to be daily report channel and follow at awesomeness to be on instagram for more we'll see you guys next time bye, bye. <laughs>